In this video, I'm going to go over the pitch trim function. You can select it over here from the, the right hand menu. What it does is it varies the angle of attack to match your target CL, and it varies the deflection of your elevator, and it's looking specifically for the elevator control surface to to match your um, a target moment coefficient. So make sure you have your control surfaces mixed properly so that the elevator can be used to trim the aircraft. So I've got this airplane here, I've got these set to where I want to, we'll actually we'll change this one to maybe 0.6 and we'll click update results. So there you go, you have your solution alpha and deflection of the horizontal stabilizer to maintain that. You'll notice that here, it deflected the horizontal stabilizer, the amount that it solves for, so that you can see it. And then you can go ahead and select another function um, if wanted to see the the distribution or the forces and moments at that condition. So just to show you, we can go ahead and take the center of gravity. We could slide it maybe a little forward, update results, and see what it does. As expected with the center of gravity, you know, farther forward, the elevator deflection is going to increase. And we could slide it back here, update results. And again, as expected, as you move the center of gravity back to trim, it's going to use less elevator deflection. So this function is going to be very powerful, very useful as you design your airplane so that you can get everything, all the all the loads you want at a cruise configuration where your lift coefficient is set to some weight coefficient and your target moment coefficient is often set to zero. Thanks for watching.